Hello everyone, welcome to Healing Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading uh, for Aquarius. Before I get going, I just want to remind people, anything you need to know about this channel is below the description in the video, including the cards I use every week. Okay, so Aquarius, let's see what the overall energies are around you. All energies surrounding Aquarius. Oh, someone's about to make a move. Someone's trying to figure out how to make a move. <laughs> yeah, you got some movement in your love life. You know, someone's seeking some kind of truth, the seven. See, so going within. This is someone here trying to figure something out here. Yeah, we got someone feeling alone, left out in the cold, kind of lonely. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see what's happening here. Aquarius. Aquarius. There we go. Let me see. Well, this could be a place where you go, where you spend money, shopping, a mall, a park, any place. Okay, some place where it's safe. Often a family place. So it looks like someone's thinking of making a move, but they're seeking some kind of truth. Well, it could be somebody here just wanting to know if you're single alone. But I see somebody, um, definitely the light shining. It almost looks like someone's trying to find out if you're single or alone. But it could be someone who's feeling lonely too. So, yeah. We have someone who feels like there's no hope. <laughs> yeah, it could be a little regret and remorse. But I feel it's just someone who kind of feels like there's no hope. It looks like someone's trying to figure something out. Yeah. This energy of someone who wants to reach out. They feel like you probably won't reciprocate or you won't feel the same. That's a little moment of pity party. Yeah, so someone definitely seeking some kind of truth. Yeah. Okay, Aquarius. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, someone's feeling left out in the cold, kind of lonely. This is often an energy of a little help on the way. It could be could be somebody wanting money, too. Uh, for some of you, reaching out, wanting money, and they need a little help, financial help, possibly. But often it's an energy of someone who feels like there's no chance that you'll reciprocate. So there's that five of pentacles. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, there you are, Aquarius. Yeah, you're being very wise. You're figuring something out here. See, you're seeking truth. You want to know the truth. You're going to be questioning everything here. Yeah, it has to do with a house, a home, someone's financial foundation. And there's some kind of reason to celebrate. I mean, it's positive. It's coming out positive. I feel like you're going to be questioning something here. I'll be asking somebody if they're at home or alone. Yeah, I do see the energy of possible children being involved, but it's also an energy of someone who's missing someone, longing for someone, just feeling a little bit alone. Yeah. One more card for Aquarius. What do they need to know about this feeling alone? Someone's pride and ego is getting in the way. Yeah. See, it's someone tempering their passions, being a little patient. So you might feel something's a little off here. Something may feel off. It could be someone who just comes in looking for attention. So like I say, it could be someone who just needs a little attention, maybe a little TLC, but we'll see. You know, this being here twice, you know, it's an energy of someone who may just need a little helping hand with something. It could be something around their house or home here. So let's see, what is this Ten of Pentacles all about? It's often, you know, it's just a, often a place. I feel it's somebody who wants to reach out. They feel there's no hope you'll reciprocate. Okay, yeah, we have some emotional fulfillment. So it has to do with something making someone happy. It has to do with someone putting themselves out there, opening up, making a move. It has to do with someone making a move. It could be someone waiting for you to make a move here. But yeah, I feel it's like I say, they're feeling like there's no hope. Or I mean, it could be someone who has a little bit of regret. Yeah, we have, see, there's a lack of confidence here. See, someone's lacking some kind of confidence here with this lack. So something's lacking. Okay, money. Um, somebody has some insecurities. Yeah, but it has to do with someone being confident, being brave. And they're not. 
I feel they're trying to be. I get this vibe they're trying to be. Yeah, because it has to do with something ending. Somebody's ended the situation. There's an, uh, some kind of ending, some kind of transformation here. Could be someone here wanting to reach out. Like I say, it could be the end of a relationship or situation. But it creates a new beginning because every ending has a new beginning. You know, it's a cycle ending. It's something maybe that's been on and off here, but it has to do with the timing. Something to do with the timing isn't right here. We have someone here definitely it's a person who's determined but it's also a person see i feel like you're trying not to get emotionally involved in something here that's why i feel like i'm not so sure if this is um, a love interest or friend or family but it has to do with some kind of event something that's emotionally fulfilling someone's trying to be confident now they may act confident but they're not okay because i actually feel there's a cycle ending something has ended here let's have to look to do with move could be someone thinking moving and relocating too to be honest um yeah no nope, there's someone here is emotionally drained um they're not sure what to do that's somebody who feels maybe they've missed an opportunity here someone's pride and ego is getting in the way here though i see the pride see it's something that wasn't successful you see but it actually could be so i feel someone's missing someone here Let's have a look at the battle wagon. One more at the battle wagon. This chariot energy. Yeah, we got some cancer energy. So that's energy of someone trying to eat with the and with the Queen of Swords, yourself here, Aquarius. Uh, I feel that um, you're trying not to get emotionally involved or invested. You're definitely controlling your emotions. You're staying in control. They're not ruling you in this decision, whatever this is. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Is it, yeah, you're being cautious. You're playing it safe, being a little careful what you wish for. Yeah. I feel like you know it has to do with somebody wanting something. I don't know if you're going to give somebody what they want, though, unless you get something you want, too. Like, you know, because it's something that has to go in both people's favor. So I don't know if it's somebody um, needing money or wanting something, but I feel like you're, like, I'm not so sure you're going to reciprocate to this because I, I do feel it's an energy of, now maybe it's yourself you kind of feel like there's no hope for something here but i you know but, but i feel like there's this person i see a leo energy let's see tell me about this strength it's an energy of someone being confident strong but there's a lack of it i can see it i mean maybe it's yourself or somebody else cancer pisces scorpio someone feeling alone needing just a little attention here it's quite possible well, you got the king of cups okay oh yeah with the king of wands all right so it has to do with um some something has ended someone's not getting what they want i also see somebody not wanting to be indulged indulge me so i feel like you're not it's like thanks but no thanks here you're staying in your power here you're not letting someone control you and i feel like you're very much in control of your emotions here i see a level of maturity and then I see the King of Wands is up here as well. So this is someone who's confident. So there's someone who lacks confidence, somebody who is. Wow, that was confusing. But a cycle has ended. I see the death card. So there's an ending, okay, uh, for someone. It looks like that King of Cups, but it could be someone having a bit, bit of a pity party, kind of feel sorry for me energy. Yeah, it could be the end of a job too. Someone may have lost their job. Uh, it has to do with work, but someone's perfecting their craft. I see somebody wanting to build. Somebody feels confident. So whatever this cycle is, it's like there's a new cycle beginning here. Someone's saving money. I see somebody holding back, kind of protecting themselves or keeping things close to their chest. And we have someone not budging. It has to do with who's making a move. Who's going to make the first move here? Oh my gosh. Tell me about the seeking truth. Yeah, see, somebody looking for some clarity, seeking truth about starting something new. So there is actually a reason to celebrate. There's some positive news coming out of all this. Yeah, it has to do with uh, somebody moving, relocating. Uh, I do see an energy of change. So there's positive change, some kind of joy and happiness here. So, yeah, whatever it is that's been happening, it looks like that something is over. And I see this emotional fulfillment, something very positive coming in. Crazy energy. Yeah, I feel there's someone here who's kind of keeping things close to their chest, though. They're not kind of budging and moving here. 
See, and I feel it's somebody here who, um, it's about them, somebody putting themselves out there, opening up emotionally. That's that the King of Cups energy. So someone here is actually wearing their heart on their sleeve or wanting to. But it has to do with feeling lack of confidence, feeling there's no hope. And then all of a sudden someone's feeling more confident. It could be the same person, but I'm looking at, I feel like there's two distinct energies here. Let's have a look at the Six of Cups. Oops. All these cards fell at once. I don't know what's what. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is this here? Six of Cups. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, we got the King of Swords now. Someone's reminiscing, analyzing a situation. It has to do with something that wasn't successful. Someone's pride and ego getting in the way. There's some, you got a person trying to figure something out here. It has to do with moving. Someone's breaking free from a situation, but... I feel it has to do with planning and preparing, analyzing success, but someone's tempering their thoughts, their passions, okay, tempering their emotions. And it could be someone reaching out, maybe trying to tempt you, <laughs> or someone trying to get your attention, okay? Could be somebody trying to get your attention here too, or seeing who you're giving your attention to. Yeah, we got some people involved, yeah? There's people involved here, all right, I'll tell you. Some of the readings, when there's too many people and they come out in certain places, it's really hard to tell if it's just somebody going through these energies, you know, mastering the elements of the kings and the queens, or it's just energy. And a lot of times it's people. So you know, I'm feeling there's people involved here, but I see some kind of reason to celebrate, some kind of good news. So there's some sort of change and shift. If you have a person coming back around and you feel they'll never change or you feel something is off, because there's that energy of feeling alone. You see? Yeah, it's two people. I feel it's two people the same, feeling alone. Or you got two people coming in. Oh, my gosh. It's an energy of patience, tempering the passions, tempering the emotions. I feel there's something going to tempt you. Someone's reaching out, okay? They're going to try to tempt you, okay? I feel you're going to be tempted. See? The temptation here. But I, you know, that's, it's an energy of making a move or somebody just coming in, wearing their heart on their sleeve here. But yeah, there's people involved. I see some kind of an event or invitation, people talking, maybe a little gossip. So let's find out what that's all about. Oops, turn these cards up the right way. I don't like to see them when I'm shuffling. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, we got the birth of something new. The Empress is coming in. Oh my goodness. Yes, we have there. Every ending comes a new beginning. So there's something new happening. I do see a connection. I see an event, maybe meeting someone new. So it has to do with someone making a move someplace where you are. It could be your neighborhood, okay, a place where you go, where you shop, celebrate a park, okay, or it's some kind of an event. So there's definitely um, a little different for everyone, but there's that energy of, of the Empress being open. The Empress is always open to new ideas. So I feel it's, Empress is also patient. I do feel there's some sort of temptation here, though. You know, tell me about the temperance energy. The Empress always tempers their passions, watches their words. So do watch your words, okay? Watch your words, your thoughts, okay? Because I feel there's someone coming in to communicate with you here. Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands. Some Sagittarius energy. It could be Aries or Leo. I mean, I'm seeing that King and Queen of Wands, King and Queen of Swords, and King and Queen of Cups. So what do we have? We either got a lot of people around you involved, all these people. Um, but this could also, like I say, be... Um, often I see this as a long journey. See, it's a journey here. Or something isn't long-term, it's not successful, but someone's planning, strategizing. They want it to be successful. You see, could be somebody wanting to know something. They might be like looking for answers, looking for clarity because we've got someone here. I mean, the Empress always looks successful, very grounded, very earthy energy, though. But look, there's the opportunity. So you got an opportunity, some kind of invitation. You may have to make some choices here. See, this is there's that Queen of Wands, someone who doesn't sit around and wait. See, someone trying to be patient. OK, that's Taming that beast within, too, <laughs> to be patient, not always easy, and just kind of wait a little bit. But yeah, it has to do with 
you know, maybe it's somebody here, the ship has sailed, it's too late and you have another opportunity. So that's why I say it's saying to be a little patient because I, I feel like we've got two people coming together, feeling kind of lonely, lacking something. See, there's an energy of lack, but it's an energy of feeling alone. And it, I feel like it's somebody reaching out, asking me if you're home or if you're alone. Okay. And I do see someone thinking about maybe giving you a gift or showing you, giving you something to let them know that they like you. So you've got some something new here. Yeah, you've got someone coming in. I feel like if you've been waiting for someone, like I feel, you may wait. You're not waiting forever. You may be tempted by somebody else here. You might just take this temptation. Yeah, the standing stone, whether and then you're questioning it too. You're being cautious. You're playing it safe. You're being a little careful what you wish for here. But I feel like you're about to get something that you want. Okay, it's an opportunity, something that's been a long journey or a long time in coming. And there's that standing stone. It's two people coming together, justice and balance. See, someone coming in right. Someone's coming in right. So you may even have a choice here too. Wow. Tell me about the two of cups with this five of pentacles energy, this feeling alone energy. You know, I got to be honest, somebody might want to get you alone. There could be someone around you wants to approach you. They may be waiting for you to be alone. So sometimes these cards will come out like that. So it popped into my head. So I have to say it because this is often people who someone is popular. They have people around them, you know, friends and family. It's you know, there's some something social here. And then there's this someone waiting to maybe get you alone to offer you something. So. Yeah, we also, there it is, two people on the same page, talking, communicating. I see some kind of an agreement, some kind of agreement being made. So it's an energy of having faith. And it's also the way someone conducts themselves, the way they behave. I see some kind of change of schedule, something to do with timing, changing a schedule. So if there is that energy of some sort of change of schedule, it could actually work out in your favor. Okay. You know, sometimes things are just meant to be, but really be careful of anyone who's looking for attention. Don't feed their ego. Okay, so watch that energy of feeding someone's ego. Okay, because um, that's what I feel. It's someone who often comes in with lack, but I feel like you have um, this cup being offered. So, and it could be coming from this King of Cups up here. So, some of you got some options here, uh, definitely. See, there's the energy of being patient, waiting for something to pay off. Something, all if you've been patient, I feel it's about to pay off. And it all has to do with the timing. Someone waiting for the right time. See, multiple opportunities. Um, the timing is a little bit off because I feel like you've got uh, opportunities, several, and you have to make some sort of a choice here. Yeah. So we have the Eight of Wands. Uh, talking, communicating back and forth, multiple opportunities. Yeah, so there's an opera. You've got all sorts of things going on. So, wow. Solid, reliable, the standing stone. Something written in stone. There's something that's a guarantee. Okay, so somebody here. Um, I mean, it's possible you could get ghosted. You could have somebody who doesn't show up. You could be in the right place at the right time and actually meet someone else, some of you. Because I do see that energy of somebody maybe not showing up and then you have a conversation with someone here. I see solid, reliable, the start of something. I also see some of you, now, some of you to do with jobs, houses, homes, a down payment, maybe having to move, uh, change a location. That's something that's making you happy. There's happy change here, positive, a lot of joy and happiness to do with seeking the truth. There's some kind of truth. Okay, you're questioning it. You're being cautious, though. I'm saying be careful what you wish for, but definitely don't be afraid to, um, you know, ask the questions you need to, but not too much, too fast. Don't overwhelm somebody. Temper it. It's all about tempering it, okay? Yeah, there's definitely, temperance is patience. Temperance is not being ruled by the emotion, um, not being ruled by thoughts or being pinned down by them. So, but yeah, you've got options and opportunities here. It looks like multiple. So, wow, there's, there's positive. It looks like invitations, events, things coming in. So it sounds really nice. Don't miss those opportunities. If you're a single person, okay, don't miss those opportunities because that's what I feel. Like, I mean, this could be married couples, you know, invitations or something, but I really do feel, you know, I'm feeling the single energy here. 
Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Let's have another look at that energy, the caution. I still feel like you're going to get something you want, something a long time in coming, yeah. See, looking at all the possibilities. Some of you have options, too. Maybe with the Empress keeping your options open. <laughs> but someone's looking at the possibilities of you, kind of fantasizing, a little procrastinating, making a decision. So I feel like you've got a few things going to happen. Now, someone's coming in, putting their best foot forward, planting the seed, building a foundation. It's going to start with friendship, some kind of friendship with two people who are on the same page. You just get each other. Like, feel like we, and it, I do feel it connects with that King and Queen of Swords very well. The communication, you know, feels really good. But, you know, the zipper, the truth here. I love this card because it's seeking the truth going within two people. I think it's two people trying to figure each other out or trying to figure out how to get someone's attention or you know, who's giving you attention or vice versa too. Because I do see the possibility of someone coming back around and then I see new. So, okay, just so you know. <laughs> Aquarius, but I see you being busy. I see a lot of happiness and joy. So, you know, a change is just be patient. Something your patience is about to pay off. Okay. It could be something you've invested in too. Like if you're selling something or buying something. Okay. If you're patient long enough, that could pay off. Somebody could actually be paying off their house and their home. Okay. Maybe moving, re relocating, buying something new. So that's a nice energy too, because I see positive change. There's, this is really, really positive change. It's also an energy of just kind of going with the flow, seeing what happens. But yeah, I feel there's change. Now, some of you, if you have a person coming back around, you're going to question them. Now, it could be too, where some of you seek that truth, that you see the truth too, that someone may never change. Okay. And I also see some of you have changed too. So yeah. You're, I feel that there's this beautiful new energy. I feel like you're going to just connect with somebody. You're going to get each other. You're on the same page. You know, typical lifestyles have it. But I do see a change of schedule. That's why I feel like you got an offer. Then someone comes in and changes the schedule. And then you get this other offer. That's what I feel is going to happen for some of you. But it's positive. It's working out in your favor. So just be patient. It'll pay off. Okay. I feel it's all about timing. <laughs> some of you are just going to be at the right place in the right time too so take those opportunities i wish you the best take care and we'll see you soon